Hey there guys and gals, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Fortress Craft Evolved. We're now on day 14, and Jim, Bob, and I are watching the sunrise. It's actually been rising for a bit. I'm a little late. It's late morning. <laughs> so yes, um, it's been a busy morning for me. Um, as you can see, we've added on to our power system. And let me tell you, as soon as I added a second power node, firing the lasers into this research... Uh, into the research unit it was almost it, it was done so fast but i gotta tell you we were getting attacked like non-stop and don't worry you guys are gonna get to see more of this so our threat was our threat was around five six hundred percent it was pretty high i also took down some of these these uh threat reducers because i don't know it's been fine it's been totally fine like every once in a while like i have to, I have to reposition a turret or i have to help out because we start to run out of power the turrets are just firing so crazy like so so non-stop that uh they run out of power and of course the little critters they do t start to shoot at the cph at the central power hub and then uh things start to get a little hairy <laughs> i haven't i haven't lost the cph yet but it, it could potentially happen now doubling in this power has been, of course, expensive because we had to build all new power storage blocks as well as the laser transmitters. Now, you'll notice the configuration here is different. And um, actually, we're going to talk about a couple things that are really important. First off, let's talk about logistics hoppers and why I did all this crazy stuff, all this crazy nonsense underneath. Now, first off, keep in mind, I I've learned a lot since then. So uh, this was totally unnecessary. I think even as I was building this, I'm like, somebody's going to say this is totally unnecessary. Well, it is totally unnecessary. This whole transfer system, the way that I've got it set up with the with the uh, switcher in the center there, um, really cool. And it all works. It all works. I did, of course, you guys were mentioning that I had uh, a couple of the conveyors turned backwards. I did straighten those out. Thank you very much for the information, by the way. I guess we can put this forward. But this this system is, is although unnecessary, it does work. Now, the reason I used, wanted to use logistics hoppers versus storage hoppers is the obvious reason, because storage hoppers right now are still really expensive for me. And as a matter of fact, uh, iron is one of those materials that I'm starting to go through a lot of, and the storage hoppers would have just added to that. And to do this, of course, you need nine hoppers. So logistics hoppers were a logical choice. However, uh, two things I didn't realize. First off, I, th I because here's the thing. So here, let's let's just build a couple more. I'm gonna need a few more anyway. So I've got uh, four there. Let's build another five. Let's build another another five logistics hoppers. Two, three, four, five. And I actually talked to the dev about this, and the dev didn't have any sympathy for me at all. <laughs> so if you use logistics hoppers, so let's put these down. Let's go one two three four five so this would be a, an array just like we have over on the other side so we're going to set this up so it's going into one of them we'll just have it it doesn't matter which one it's going into but we'll we'll make it so it's going into the center one so a lot of you guys were saying this is what you need to do you need to put your coal into the center hopper we'll clear all these out so it's clear and all of these are set to add and remove now the uh, according to the dev it sets it is set so that these should share resources or share raw resources like coal but it should take a very long time well very long meaning like i don't know 30 seconds or something to 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 fill up this whole area which technically in this game is a long time any counterfactory game however because it's such they can only store up to two units they will never average out they will never share and average out so no matter how many times i try to put coal into this into these units in other words i could even hold on let's let's grab the coal from here and i could even put coal in every single one of these outer ones so i'm putting coal in all of the ones on the outside so you can see they're full because it's red right but even with coal on every single one of these outside uh, hoppers they still won't fill the center one they will never ever ever level out so I've been working with logistics hoppers for most of the time. I mean, most of the time I use, I've used many hoppers occasionally for certain things, but logistics hoppers, because they're fast, I like to use them. Now, the problem is they don't work in a system like this, but, but, but here, here's the, here's the caveat. And I didn't know that there would be a difference between logistics hoppers and mini hoppers. I had no idea, but apparently, so let's go here. We're going to change all of those logistics hoppers into mini hoppers because they're interchangeable. There we go. So, but if we use mini hoppers, so I'll, I'll build the, whoops, I'll build the backside here first. So, whoops. Ah, <laughs> like, ah, there, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, let's start, start this again. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, 
six. I know it's like Sesame Street now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, sorry. And then we add the front one like so. The first one will fill up and they will start to spread the joy between the other hoppers. I it's not there it goes it's starting to now the mini hoppers are slow like they are inherently slow they're not as fast as the logistics hoppers but the process still works because they can store i think they have to have at least three or four coal in them before they will start to share but they will in the end share all the way through all nine and mini hoppers are fast enough to work with these these types of generators so theoretically well, not theoretically. I know for a fact that it works because with this one, I have in fact used all mini hoppers. We're gonna re we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I built this in a moment and why I did what I did here, and we're gonna do it on the other side. But yeah, so that's the thing. If you, <laughs> I didn't know that mini hoppers were different than logistics hoppers. I thought that none of them would really share well, but these ones actually share really well. So they work for that system, no problemo. <laughs> so does that answer the question as to why I built this system underneath? Because I didn't know that mini hoppers would work. And so there we go. Now uh, I'm gonna tear this all out because it is a huge waste because those can conveyor turn uh, uh, turntable conveyors or turn conveyor turntables are really expensive and it's it's a huge waste um to do that and on top of that i've got another storage hopper down here i've got extra conveyors yeah it was just a complete waste of materials so we're gonna fill all this up here yeah so it was super flame dust that suggested that we build a bat cave <laughs> like a cave we're, we're gonna start building uh underground passageways where we start to have different processing rooms and stuff it'll be super cool but he said bat cave and i'm like yes that's what we're gonna build we're gonna build a bat cave yeah so we're gonna get rid of all these logistics hoppers and we're gonna replace them with mini hoppers right makes sense and we can convert that on our own which is very convenient i like that so we'll just do that like so and now we can go bang bang yeah so this is this is way cheaper so and why am i not using storage hoppers i just want to re re reiterate this fact the only reason we're not using storage hoppers because storage hoppers are faster they can hold more ore oh, i can't move here so hold on they can hold more ore they are better for in every single way except that they require a lot of resources so yeah so that is why that's the only reason why as a matter of fact um i would i would much prefer to have storage hoppers although that does seem like a little really expensive if i don't need to you know what i mean like if we don't need to do that why would we do it you know oh and the other thing i learned about these this turntable and i'll show you what i've done here with this line but these turntables not only do will they go so if you have them positioned like that no not only will they spread uh coal this way this way this way and down they will actually even go forward so they will they will actually send uh resources upwards as well isn't that cool i don't know i it was an interesting discovery so uh what we can do is we can put a upward sloped conveyor whoops not there <laughs> there and theoretically it should send it up if not we can just use yeah it's kind of wasteful to use an upward sloped conveyor here anyway it looks pretty but nobody's ever going to see this because there that should work or not maybe I'm a liar maybe I'm a liar it was doing it earlier I swear I swear it was it was it was sending it upwards too as well I I swear it was I swear guys oh maybe oh maybe it was coming it was going actually maybe it was coming in this way and then going up i bet you that's what so i was lying yeah i'm totally lying i misunderstood actually so we should be able to go like this yeah there we go that works there we go like that go up here and then we can have it going in like so um we we could have had an upward sloped conveyor here and then done the turntable here and then gone down again which would have been fine too but this works as long as it works it's all good so there we go i, I can actually fill all this in now perfect perfect uh everything but that i can't fill that one block in so i don't know i might i might or you know actually what we could do sorry <laughs> sorry because I, it's very important now I'm actually getting to a point in the game where I want things to kind of look cool so yeah so what we can do is man it's hard to move around in here all right so we can have that there and we can go like that actually we'll go build the ones up like this first 
like so, and then we go in like this, and this way we can seal it all off. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. Um, or even better, what I've been doing with a lot of these now is using the space window, because the space window is amazing. That way I can see, you know, just kind of see, I can see the turntable, I can just kind of double check. Uh, I don't want to have these everywhere because they're, they're actually quite expensive. These space windows require iron plates. And like I was saying, iron is not cheap. So, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys how I had this all going in before I sealed the rest of it up. So we're going to do that right now too as well. Oh, something I learned about the go to function, um, which is really handy. Somebody was, there was one guy that said, don't change all this rock to the bricks because it would just take too long. And actually what's funny is you don't even need to remove all of the rock. You can actually replace it instantly like that. So we don't actually have to even go in and replace all of that, like remove all the rock to put in the bricks. Isn't that nice? The go to function is just amazing. I, I Honestly, the, the build to or whatever it's called. So again, like this, we're just gonna seal this up. I just wanted to show you how I had it laid out. And then it's gonna go in here and uh, we'll worry about that in a second because, oh yeah, and by the way, all the research is done because it was like, in, it, well, it wasn't instantaneous, but it, it was done very, very quickly having these two nodes um, all together. Um, before we do that, let's talk about why I have a different configuration here. So this is, Bubba had mentioned that these power storage blocks don't share power very well. As they get into much higher technologies, of course, they share power very well, or they share power better. So basically, this bottom layer is only basically sharing through this one block and it's going up through here and this is getting medium amounts of power and this is getting very little amounts of power because it's so high up and it has to share all the way through the blocks so what i had done with the other one is do it uh, as bubba says like a football like football stadium bleachers or like bleachers so you have this one along the center that way you're not going up to a third level and it's still the same you can still you still have the same height it's just how they're laid out and i found that i've already tested this it works way better like that whoops get those turned yeah like that i wonder if i set my timer today <laughs> there's a high probability that i forgot to do that uh let me just read over and see <laughs> no it's going good okay so yeah, that works way better, it, and it looks kind of cool. I don't know, it looks a little bit more even, um, sort of, except when it's on the blocks like that. So perfect, so let's grab our research, and yes, we got metal alloys, and it took far less time than you might think because of all the extra power. Now, as we start to get into more and more advanced stuff, of course, we're gonna find that things are pretty crazy. Okay, we have 17 recipes. All right, we've got all those warning things. We've got the advanced conveyor filter, the build gun, the new, the version two of the build gun. Oh, yeah, we are researching that. Only 25 power. Yes, we're going to do that. Toxic particle filter. Crafting this allows your suit to filter out dangerous and hallucinogenic toxins from the atmosphere. So we haven't even really made it to the toxic zone. I assume we're going to need lots of nickel. We're maybe even crystals for that. I have no idea. We'll get it, though. Steel cutter head. Yes, yes, yes. This is what we need to get crystals. Yes, and we need crystals. Ooh, crystal cutter head. Insert into an ore extractor to improve efficiency to 30%, reducing the amount of ore wasted. Wa uh, wasted wears out quickly. Also, allows the harvesting of tougher metals. Um, I'd never actually read the uh, the other cutter head for um for the oh look at this crystal dynamics. Oh, I have no idea. We're we're going into some crazy things here. So uh, steel cutter head reduces wasted. Wasted ore by improving efficiency of ore extractors. So it improves. So right now our ore extractors are working at 10% efficiency. So we're only getting 10% of the total ore in the in the vein, which is awful. That's terrible. Um, but putting this in, we're gonna get double that. And putting the the uh, the crystal head cutter, we'll get 30%. And then what is the organic one? Organic is 50%. That is that's great. Oh, plasma head cutter. We don't have that access to that but yeah no helpful either <laughs> so what else we got here oh this is great this is great uh the manufacturing plant um we do need that plasma head charger uses l large amounts of power to imbue standard steel cutter heads with plasma based energy what uh, okay uh we'll get it but that sounds way over my I don't know, education level in this game. Okay, so <laughs> moving moving on, let's see what it takes to build some of these cutter heads because now we should be able to theoretically go in and, okay, so let's look at the crystal cutter head. Unknown material, okay, so, oh, low grade steel bar. So we're gonna need steel. Uh-oh, 
We need steel. How do we how do we make steel, guys? I don't know. How do we make steel? Low grade steel bar. Uh okay, so let's go to the help file. Because the help file is actually pretty awesome. It's it's pretty great. Reference. Um crafting ingredients. Steel. Low grade steel bar. Low grade steel bar is created from a combination of iron and nickel in a manufacturing plant and is an essential component. So we need to build a manufacturing plant. Uh <laughs> Okay, so that's where we start. All right, manufacturing plant. Let's, ooh, look, it's kind of kind of a bug here almost, I think. So we've got the manufacturing plant. That's the first thing we need to build. I have no idea what we need to build it. I have no idea. We're probably going to need lots of things that we don't have. <laughs> um, okay, manufacturing plant. And it's one of these buildings that you can't move without a without the version 2 gun. But we're going to have the version 2 gun fairly quickly. Oh, wow, look at this. Iron gears. Okay, so six, 15 iron gears. Let's see. So we only need to build three of those because they come in packs of five. So one, two, three. And then we go back. Let's see here. Uh, where is it here? Is it? I'm not sure. Where, where was it here? It's, it's in the... Yeah, it's okay. It's under the storage and yeah, I don't know. It's weird how they have this laid out. Manufacturing plant. Okay, so lightweight housing. That's going to require 10 plates. I have a bunch of those. Servo motors. That's just copper. 16 of those and uh, 16 copper wire. So yeah, no problem. Let's build the, let's get the copper wire going. So we let's throw in, uh, we're probably going to need more copper wire, but I don't know. We'll just, uh, we've got one on us. So let's go F7. <laughs> uh, kind of fun. Okay, so let's go uh, shift T. We, we have lots of copper on us now. And we're just going to need five more. Whoops. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nine. Control T. One, two, three, four, five. And, oh, I got to lock this one. Yeah, I'm going to need to do more because... So I've got this... This machine here builds PCBs, right? But I've got it so that I can also get wire. So I've got, I can lock this part and take the wire out before it goes on and makes the rest of the PCBs. So we'll just throw a couple more in here because I think we missed one. Perfect. And we're probably going to need more tin plates. So let's get this, that going too as well. So let's do shift T. Oh, that's lithium. Whoops. Uh, cute. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, tin. I always think of tin as as being like that silver silvery color, not the gold color. You know, it's a little confusing. Just every once in a while. Okay, so let's go back. Um, actually, probably have. Nah, we'll need one more than that. Okay, so let's go, and we need. Let's see, we're gonna need. Ah. Uh, manufacturing plant. We're gonna need servo motors. Sixteen of those. We can build those right away. Servo motors. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, blah, 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 16. And then we're going to need lightweight machine housing. I think we have just enough to pull that off. Oh, no, we need way more tin plate. Way more. I didn't realize it was six tin plate to build each one of those. So let's let's just throw a bunch of those in there. Perfect. And see how many we got here. So it's probably going to be a couple minutes before we can build this manufacturing plant. I thought we were just going to be able to go in and build the silly thing right away. Oh yeah, we're going to need a lot of tin plate. You know what? As a matter of fact, we're just going to dump whatever we can in here. Yeah, there we go. Because we're going to need a lot of tin plate. What else do we need from him for this? <laughs> wow. At least I know we can build it. It's just waiting for the materials to be done. Copper wire, and that's it. So, yeah, we're just waiting on those two things, and we'll be good to go. So we should be able to grab just about the copper wire. Okay, what else can we do? <laughs> um, what do we need to build the version 2 gun, actually? That's important. And the, anti and the toxic thing, whatever that was. So that should be under here. Oh, and we got the spider base components, too, as well. Um... I need more tin plate for that. I had that all ready to go, but now I've been spending the tin plate. Uh, maybe we'll use the tin plate that we've got immediately for that because we can actually get that going 100% right now. Right, perfect. Now, we can do that right now. Let's do that. The spider bot base, yeah. And then we can actually add weapons to the spider bot. So we need nine of these. One, two, three. Oh, I guess it shows us here. We need 225. There we go. Perfect. Spider bot base component. Now I'm this is a 15 by 15 unit. Like it's big. I think we have enough room here to build this, I think. I think this is a good place for it. I have, by the way, I have been turning this place into a pyramid using blocks of various kinds all the way around the base so that I can get up and down onto the platform. And you know, every time I extend the the platform, I'm going to have to move out the stairs and stuff, but I don't know. I think it's worthwhile. Okay, so let's go here, okay, there it is, spider bot base. Yay! Oh, cool, cool. Okay, so it's a 15. So I want to go right up to the edge like that. Yeah. So one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 50. This thing is way bigger than what I expected. <laughs> this is way bigger. Uh-oh. Uh, you know what? We're... Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, whoops. I've got to use my shift to uh, remove that. Uh, I, I didn't think this thing was going to be so big. I mean, I knew it was going to be big, but I didn't think... I th we're going to have to extend out the base. Ugh. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Yes, so we're gonna do the platform actually below our main platform for the spider bot And then we can we have room for the charging I think there's a charging station too as well Just a little bit more room to work with down here and uh, I used I don't know if I talked about this before But there is a if you hold down control and use the right mouse button It is a super dig function, which is just a really fast way of destroying a mountain <laughs> But it just drains power like look at the drain eh? that's super 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 crazy yeah, I really wanted uh, a lots of room to be able to work with. Besides, I have plans for all this space up here. I don't want to be wasting it with the spider bot thing. So not that it's a waste, um, but let's get this down. And then I, st I totally forgot about the thing I really wanted to show or do with you guys. And that was get our auto digger working too as well today. But I don't know, I got distracted by stuff. It happens, happens all the time. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. That should be right. I hope. <laughs> Theoret actually, you know what? We should be able to do... do... Whoops. That. Yeah. Okay, so I got the measurements here. Now, it's 15 by 15. I just wanted to be sure I got this right. Because, it, I mean, it's a bit of a pain. It would be a bit of a pain because you have to hold down the shift. I guess it's not a huge pain. I mean, so what if you have to hold down the shift button while you're, build while you're removing blocks? <laughs> And look, he's commonly known as Spider Bro, but you know, I have my own little nickname for him. I call him, uh, I call him Clippy <laughs> because he's always clipping in and out of objects, including himself. But he's, I like him. Don't get me wrong. I really like him. Oh, also something somebody else had mentioned. Oh, I almost forgot about this. We can select a skin. So, uh, and I think we can go to settings. No, where is it here? Skin select, here we go, we can choose a skin. Now we don't have access to everything. We have to own Amputee, I don't know. Requires that you own Steam Heroes, I don't know. Space Commander, I don't know about that, but we can't, Union Jack, that is ridiculous. Like, that's over the top. Like somebody somebody puked a British flag all over me. Um, no, uh, this one's okay, it's kinda pinkish. I don't know, I don't mind the pink, that's all right. This one looks cool, it's got the, the, the camo and the, that looks really neat. This looks a little too fruity for me, and this one, uh, that's that's what we're using right now. Let's go with the red camo. I like that. Yeah, there we go. Accept. And we can also, uh, gender female, a uh, helmet open. We can, you can't see yourselves, but, you know, you get the idea. All right, so let's, that's good. Ah, there we go. So now Spider, Spider Bro, as he's commonly known in the community, or Clippy, as I know him, now has a docking station. What can we do with this thing? I have no idea. Uh, Spiderbot recharge and docking base. Spiderbot power. So Spiderbot is, I don't think he charges at all without, I don't know. I have no idea. So I think we actually have to supply him with power. We will do that in a moment. I've got some other things I need to take care of with you guys because while I've got you here, I want to get some auto diggers going because they will take a while. So another thing I've done, you may have noticed, I added the space grill to the side here because the lasers pass through it this way because I kept dying. I kept falling on top of my little laser process is this way, and you can pass right through the turret, by the way. This way, I, I that's not gonna happen. I'm safe all the way down, as long as I'm using my grapple. So the other thing I'd like to do is, um, we wanna build a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, uh, blah, 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 blah. hold on, let's, let's find it here. This thing, uh, where is it here? The, the lift with the underside piston. So we wanna actually put this 
into our, rather than having to always grapple up and down, wouldn't it be nice to have an elevator? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a separate shaft just for the piston. So we're gonna have to dig out that area. So what I was gonna do, ha ha ha, here's where it gets fun, folks. Um, we're gonna use our first automated tool, real automated tool, um, that's really cool, actually. I really like it. So we're gonna go just, I just, I just wanna be able, I wouldn't normally dig this out just, but I just wanna show you guys what this thing looks like in its in its full form here <laughs> uh, we're gonna put it right beside our little power block here um, because it right now this this little gap is exactly where I want the 3 by 3 shaft and digging out a 3 by 3 shaft is actually really time-consuming so this is a super handy tool we're gonna come up here and we're gonna go to I think I've got it in my bar one so yeah we're gonna throw this down right here and it uses a ton of power a ton and but it is, uh, and it'll basically use as much power as you put into it. But even though, even though it's, it'll, it'll, it, it basically drains this of power. It'll slowly work its way, digging its way up. Now, if you have any machinery and stuff here, I think it actually shoots it out of the way, unless it's a laser. I think I don't think it shoots lasers out of the way, and, and it'll knock it down. It'll knock it down to the bottom. So you do have to go and collect that stuff afterwards. And uh, you can, I think. I don't know if we can actually, I don't think we can actually collect all of that rock. I think the rock actually gets vaporized. So yeah, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Actually, it's very cool. So we're gonna be doing that at multiple levels. So um, now we need to get some power going down, but I guess I, we might as well just let that thing do its work because we're not gonna have enough power to do anything more right now, but I just wanted to show you that. It's really cool. I have a, we're gonna be digging it all the way down to the crystals and have an elevator down to the cold level. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so anyway. So yeah, you can actually see the, I just came up to the top here just to show you. So it, it's gonna create the three by three right here. And you can actually see the lines of where it's gonna keep shooting upwards, right? So that has a 256 meter range. So we can be 256 meters underground and have that thing go. As a matter of fact, oh, you know what? You know what? Okay, just one second. I'm gonna change things. Okay, yes. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna actually remove this. <laughs> Because I didn't realize it had such great range. I thought the range was only like 60 something, but because it's got that long of range, we can actually, let's let's just, you know, attach it to the crystals like right away. I think that's, that's the way to go. So I'm going to send that laser down. <laughs> yes, and I'll meet you down by the crystals. Okay, so I had to actually go down the hole and add another power transmitter. It seems like a lot of work to set one of these up, but you know what, it's worth it. Um, cause I think I need to put, I need to put one more laser power transmitter on this thing in order to make this fly and work. So let's do that. Ow. <laughs> uh, you know, it, like you could say you, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are like, wow, it seems like a lot of work to set up an auto builder, but you got to understand until you've actually built a three by three, uh, shaft like that, it is such a huge pain in the butt. So this actually does really, it's a huge quality of life thing. It does make things way better. Um, I don't know if I can have power going directly into it though. I hadn't thought about that. It's, it is getting power. Yeah, so it is charging up. It is going to take a very long time for this thing to do its job. Oh, it's maxed out. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh yeah, she's, she's up and running. So as far as I know, it won't actually take out the laser power transmitters as well. I've tested this before. I've had this running, so it won't take out the laser transmitters, um, but I think it will take out uh, conveyor belts and stuff. So yeah, you do have to watch for that. So there, that's up and running. So now, and I, we are currently 251 meters underground and we'll be able to put a, uh, an elevator going all the way up to the top. Now this, this object, I'm learning how to use a help system, by the way, and I'm gonna show this off. If you highlight something on your bar and you hit H, it's contextual helps. So you can actually see it. It's right here. It appears right here. So this unit will maximum range of 264 meters, um, 64 meters for multiplayer clients. Oh, interesting. So it does have quite a bit of range and we can get a piston, a separate, I like, I'm sorry. It's a fun word to say piston. Uh, we're going to get a piston, piston for it. And we can get a, a remote control so that we can control it. Yeah. So Apparently, if you don't have the remote control, it's not controllable by you. I think when you go on it, it moves kind of thing. But with the remote control, you can actually control its movement. So it's actually not a terrible thing. I'm actually super excited to... Whoops. <laughs> I'm super excited to get that running. 
Um, let's just see. Yeah, it's going to come up through here, hopefully. Hopefully I got that right. Hopefully I got that targeted right. Okay, let's go back up to the top. I have so much I want to do this episode. I got one more big thing that I want to do with you guys, so I might run a little bit over today. This might be an extra long episode. I don't know. Some of you guys like that. Some of you guys don't. Okay, lightweight housing. Let's build. We need another. We need 16 of them, so let's just build up to 16. Hopefully, I, I, I did put a few more in the cooker so that we got that perfect, and now we can put that all into our manufacturing plant yay we have a manufacturing plant and before we go i want to look at our gun can we upgrade our gun <gasps> oh actually it's not gonna be that bad lithium nickel and titanium actually that's not bad at all we could upgrade that anytime so the reason that's important is because a manufacturing plant just like these refineries can't be moved unless you have a version 2 gun but knowing that we can build that fairly easily we can just experiment with this so let's put the manufacturing down right here it's just like the other one Oh, is this, hold on, is that the same exact block as this one? It's the same exact block, so, is that, oh, oh, oh I can build the little great, oh, I didn't know that. But I think I can use these for automation too? So I think having a, another one might be okay. I didn't realize that, guys, I, oh, I'm, ah, I didn't realize I could just build the, the bars here. Oh, man, okay, so what do I need? I need, I need the bars to build the uh whatchamacallit oh let's take a look at the okay so we got the different the crystal cutter head unknown material i don't know uh, organic we need the pristine stinger but the steel cutter all we need is three low grade steel bars and we're gonna build six low grade steel bars that way we can build two crystal mines one two three four five six and then we'll put them both into the crystal mine we're gonna be putting them in all the mines i'll probably do that on my own but uh today today the goal is to get the steel cutter heads into the crystal mines. We're going to build another mine itself. Another ore extractor. And I'm going to get another power storage block. As a matter of fact, we're going to get a couple because before I go down there, we're going to build the other power node. So I can show you guys how I did it. I don't I don't know if I have enough stuff to actually finish it off, but I can get it started anyway. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And power storage block. So let's do that before I go downstairs and throw that into the crystal thing. So we, this was my, my little... Uh, demonstration so I can remove that because I need these mini hoppers now uh oh why are we not collecting stuff because I'm out of room oh my god it's just one thing after another um we need to drop off some stuff okay <laughs> okay uh okay I guess I I don't know I uh, guess we don't need this I've been collecting a lot of stuff from the, from the bugs too like as they attack there was a lot of attacks so that that explains it so we'll just get a few, get rid of a few things here that way we can just collect everything that's over here Perfect, because we need those mini hoppers. Okay, and we're going to build this power node. I just wanted to show you guys what I did. It's a, almost identical to the other one, actually. It's really nothing special. I just, you know, I, I feel bad when I build things without you guys, so I want you guys to kind of see it. Um, and it's, of course, once I built it, it's super fast to put together again. It's identical, identical to the other one. So really, I guess it's not a big deal. You guys probably could have figured out <laughs> how I did it. If you're following along with the series, then you probably figured it out already. But uh, there's some of you that are just catching up with us now or just watch this is the first episode you watch well here you go this is how you do it so and then we put our generators down and behind like so and I am just really particular about making sure everything looks more or less the same we don't have enough generators to go around here so we'll just pretend that the rest here are generators which they will be in a moment as soon as we get the ability or as soon as we uh, build those we're just we're, just, we're a little short on iron right now iron seems to be the thing I'm I'm requiring a lot more iron lately it is definitely something that uh, we need to step up our game on uh, we need we need a couple more power storage blocks I don't know if I can do that right now either but yeah so that's you get the general idea there uh, we're going to need energy transmitters. We're going to need a lot of things, but we don't have the iron to do it. So, yeah, I, this is exactly how I built the other one, too, as well. And then we'll just seal it off so it looks nice, right? So, yeah, and then we're going to have three power nodes going into this thing. We also have to decide on the research before I go downstairs because um, it's it's great, been great doing the research in between the episodes. So we could go for intermediate minor upgrades. Actually, let's... Oh. I didn't mean to hit start project. Can I change that? Oh, well, guess guess we're doing intermediate minor upgrades, <laughs> which is probably a good idea because I think we're going to need that. And I'm going to be upgrading the conveyor belts right away here too as well with possibly even those uh, those other ones. Um, uh, no, we need lots of nickel for the other ones. Like the, uh, uh, what are they? The transport pipes, which are way faster, but they do require crystal. So while we're here, let's go build some crystal mines. Yay, finally we get to build crystal mines. <sighs> Meet you down there. Okay, here we go. Look at that thing go. Awesome. Oh, it's so great. 
That's so great. So handy. And honestly, it may not seem like a big deal, but it saves tons of time. Okay, so here's a crystal mine we put down here ages ago. It is stuck. Now we should be able to. Where did I? Hold on. I'm not even sure where. Did I? Was I even able to pick? Oh yeah, there they are. Okay, so we should be able to just go like that. Ah, steel cutter head. It's working. <gasps> Next door. So it does take a while. So the oh no, four ore per minute. It's the same speed as any other mine now. Um, but it does. It should improve the efficiency, but it doesn't say that it improves the efficiency. Oh, cool. You can actually see the difference. Oh, ah, what the, didn't mean to do that. I accidentally clicked on the mine. You can actually see the difference in the head. See that? Is that ever cool? Ah, oh, man, all that power, too. <laughs> that is so cool. Neat. Well, I'm going to have to get some power down here for these guys, too, as well. But, yeah, so now we have a crystal mine. We're going to build another one. We're going to build it uh, right here. So, and then we're going to put a power storage block right underneath it, but we don't have that right now. We'll add some power to this sucker. I don't even know if I've got enough power to do all this right now. But, you know, I'm just so happy that we can have crystals. This is really important. I'm going to add on to this system, of course, on my own time, uh, so that uh, so that when you guys come back, we're going to actually have some crystals to work with. That's so cool. That's so cool. Neat. Finally have crystals. Yay, look at this. I have crystals. Yay. Um, and that's working. Guys, I, I hope you're enjoying the series. I love this game. This is probably, this is going to be one of my games of, you know, number one games of all time. It has been that much fun. And if you haven't picked it up yet, I highly recommend it. I am not being sponsored by the developer. I've received nothing. I even paid for, for this game for myself. I even bought it for other people. So I've received nothing from the developer. This is all just me. I just really like it that much. And uh, for those of you that are getting sick of me playing it, well, uh, it's unfortunate because it's really good. It's really good and I'm really enjoying the experience. So anyway, guys, I hope you uh, will see you again next time. And well, on day 15, which is I'll probably do an episode tomorrow, probably. But I have, I have to catch up with some of my other series too. <laughs> okay, guys, take care.